Yeah, our preseason's going really well for our, our sprints, jumps, hurdles, and throws group. Um, we've been able to add a couple more, more coaches, so we'll be able to give more uh, attention uh, to the technical events. So, um, yeah, everything's going well. It looks like it will be a good, good first meet, um, and I think we'll probably see some PRs uh, early on in the season and continue to build from there. Our, our indoor schedule is unique. Uh, there's not a lot of indoor facilities uh, nearby, so we have to travel a little bit further. So um, our indoor schedule, uh, we open up nearby at Shenandoah, again, just kind of for more for the speed and power athletes uh, after they come off their fall season um, to get an indication of, of where they're at. Um, then we'll have Christmas break. Uh, we'll come back, we'll bring a small group back and uh, head up to the armory a little bit more of our top guys and top girls um, just to give them an opportunity to race a little bit better competition. Um, and then our, our next meet will bring everybody back again just to see where, where summer training or winter training has been um, and, and again how they trained over break by themselves. And as the indoor season progresses uh, our, our competition gets a little bit better um, and that's how the indoor season will go with obviously the uh, goal is running well at conference and running well at the, the regional and, and national championships. On, on the men's side, we have Nate Williams returning uh, in the throws. He was a NCAA qualifier indoors and, and outdoors. So, you know, we look for him to do that again um, and then place higher up in the indoor championships. Um, we have a strong group of, of sprinters uh, that are returning. So we have Jai Rachapi. Um, we'll look for him to uh, make some make some big moves this year in the the 200, the 400. Um, we have uh, for brief Saint Helen, a sophomore. Um, Alex Reimert, a sophomore, also in that uh, 200, 400. They'll, they'll run some 60s as well. Um, and then Hayden Schindler is coming off a, a really strong cross country season. So we'll look for him to score some points distance-wise. Um, we have also on the men's side, uh, Parker Weigel. He uh, is a, a pole vaulter, uh, freshman, um, comes in with some pretty good marks. So we, we think he'll do, do well at the conference level. On the women's side, we're, we're a little bit younger, so we don't have too, much, too many uh, seniors on the team. Uh, Isabel Pardu is a, a distance runner, um, 5K, 10K. Uh, 3K indoor, so she uh, she'll probably be one of the the stronger runners for us on the women's side. And then we have also uh, Alyssa Swan, who is a junior, and she had a really really great cross country season. Um, and we look for for that to transfer over with the uh, 400 and 800 for her. And then <clears throat> from a, a freshman standpoint, uh, Rebecca Gothier uh, had a great cross-country season again we'll like like Hayden we'll look for her to transfer cross-country season over to a good track season. I'm, I'm excited to see everybody compete I know they've been putting in a, a lot of a lot of work a lot more more training a bigger training block um, so I, I want to see it pay off for them and I'm just excited to see them on on the track competing.